Speaker, I yield one minute to the gentleman and former member of rules, Mr. Welsh from Vermont. Uh, thank gentleman you, from Vermont is recognized thank for one you. minute. Thank you, General Lee from uh, New York. Uh, I say, Madam Speaker, to my Republican colleagues, you campaigned effectively. You beat us good. You ran on the agenda of defeating uh, health care and repealing it. Now you're doing it. Own it. Admit what it is you are doing. This is not a campaign we're playing with fire. We're taking away health care benefits to make a real difference to our families. Number one, this bill will raise the deficit by $230 billion. Fiscal responsibility out the window. Second, things that matter to families, their kids starting out getting a $10 an hour job without health care. They have it now in their parent policies. We're taking it away. Pre-existing conditions, you have cancer, want to buy insurance, you can. Repeal, you can't, you lose it. Lifetime caps, if you are with cancer or diabetes and you need that insurance, you lose it before you can go without it. In point of care, we're taking it away from seniors who are trying to take care of themselves, get those free mammograms, to keep, keep the cost of health care down. You are taking it away. Admit it. Own it. State it proudly. It's what you campaigned on. It's what you're doing. But don't try to sugarcoat what this is about. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from California. The gentleman from California continues to reserve. The gentlelady from New York. Madam Speaker, I yield one minute to the gentleman from California.